Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. On the agenda today for me is to um, go get hay. Uh, I ordered a bunch more hay and I have to pick it up sometime and since it's been raining, I didn't want to do it in the rain. So now I'm off to get hay, but before I can get hay, I had to fix my trailer. And it's a pretty old trailer. I mean, I used it for all the uh, goat poop, but I had to fix this gate here a bit. I mean, haven't had time to actually find the right part. So I just put some poles here to hold it in, but it's ready to roll. The lights work, tested it out. It's all ready to roll to get some hay. I don't even know how much hay I can fit in here. I think I have this net that goes over the top to secure it. But I think I can get 20, as long as I don't go too high. Like maybe 20, yeah, maybe 20 the most. So 20 and then 20 in the back of the truck, that's 40. So that's what we get today. I have 120 to pick up, so I make one trip today and maybe one trip tomorrow. And there you have it. First load of four. <laughs> four more of these loads I gotta get. I'm only gonna do one load because I'm doing it myself today, but we'll be doing four more of these loads. Good morning guys, welcome to Wednesday morning. It is a hay day. We are loading up more hay for the goats. I'm sure Sam already showed you. I love it. He's so resourceful. Like, who knew that this little trailer would come in so handy? Oh, and it just smells so amazing. I love the smell of hay. A couple of days ago, my smell turned on superpower and I can smell everything. I feel like as I've gotten older, I've lost the sense of smell. Like I don't smell as strong as I did when I was younger. I swear. All that goat's milk, that raw milk I drank in the summer, it, it's like the fountain of youth. I think it's started ever since I started taking that blue-green algae, but I can sit, like walk through the kitchen and smell every smell. There's like a bowl of apples on the island. I can smell it. I can smell it like I'm cooking applesauce. It's so strong. I can smell everything it's so strong right now. The goats are like, what's happening? Should we come? <laughs> Should we stay here? But the gate is open, so they're thinking they want to come. Stay there, little goat. Ellie and Kirby, you guys protect them. You stay there and keep them there. Go, Ruby, go help them. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. All right. Take two, you guys. We did this a couple of weeks ago. Here we go. Quick update on little Kirby. She's still annoying to the other dogs, still chasing them, just like Ellie did when she was a puppy. But she is amazing and she just fits in like amazing. She's a perfect farm dog. Not every dog that we bought is a good farm dog, but she's a good farm dog. Sam continues to be super consistent. He takes her every everywhere with her, with him. Takes her to the barn. She has like her own routine with him and I am loving it. I have to train her to go in the truck though, but don't want to leave her in the truck when I'm yeah. out, so. You, you almost need two people to go with you. I took Ellie in the car with me a hundred times before she turned a year old. And I don't think she loves it. Ruby always wants to be friends with the goats, but the goats don't want to be friends with Ruby. She's literally one of our gentlest dogs. They, you, she'd make such a good friend. Well, let's talk about breeding season with the goats because it's about to happen. Right now Lola's in heat and I'm waiting for that heat to be finished. Oh, she's peeing in the camera. That's so rude. You were behind the truck. Why did you just come in front of the camera so you can pee in front of everybody? Anyways, last year I told you guys that I learned about flushing and we increased the quality of our goat's grain. She's like, get out of my spot. <laughs> So uh, what we didn't do was increase the, um, the quantity of their grain and we did that this year. So we added some sunflower, black oil, sunflower seeds and some other stuff to their grain to make them healthier. And we also increased their grain and all of our goats look so fantastic. Before you breed, you want your goats to be like a three at least in body scale condition. You want them to be like at least a three, 3.5 even. I feel like our goats are 3.5. 
Um, but what that does is it increases their ability to get pregnant and increases the amount of eggs that they'll release and it decreases the chance that they'll reabsorb babies. We had such a good season last year. It was so good. Everybody had twins except for one that had triplets and one that had one. The one that had one was just a baby and it was an accidental pregnancy. So I understand why she had one and, and everyone else did incredibly well. But I have high hopes for this year, you guys. I hope every, well, I, I don't want any more than twins. I think everybody having twins would be perfect. Even little Lola, who's all grown up now and looking fabulous. Come here, Lola. Come here, baby. Everybody's freaked out by the truck and the trailer in the paddock. Come here, baby. Come on. But Toffee's about to brave it. She's gonna brave it for me. Come on, Toff. Come here, baby. Come on. She's not gonna brave it. Come here, Toffee. Come on. Aww. Come here. What a sweet girl. <laughs> She's just not brave enough. When you're flushing goats for fertility, you do it uh, at least, it's different for sheep, but you do it at least a month before you plan to breed them. I think with sheep, it's like two weeks or something. But with goats, goats are hard, man. You do it a month before, and then you do it a month after they're bred to help with the babies implanting. I'm really excited though. I am so happy with the way our goats look. I've been unhappy with the way our goats have looked since we got them. Only the ones that we initially bought. I felt like we bought them and they weren't in great condition or in great health. And then it's just been a constant struggle to get them to be healthier. And this is the first time, it's been a year. And this is the first time, July, it's been 12, it's been 14 months. And this is the first time I really feel like they are as healthy as I want them to be. My prized possessions, you guys. My piggy and my doggy, who both love me so much. I love the goats, but I don't connect with them the same way that I do with my pig and my dog. And I love my horse and I connect with her. I love her. The goats are honestly adorable. The horses are on their way in. Get, don't even try it. Now you come, get. <laughs> Get. All right. <laughs> it's a crazy day. Whoa. Well, hello. <laughs> what's going on? They think it's something new. Yeah, they're like, what's happening? No. We notice you. <laughs> new here. Yeah, we gotta open all the gates. I really love this property for our horses. I love that they get to go so many places. Like these guys, these guys literally just came up. That gate was closed. So they came around to come in and see what we're doing. And then the rest of the horses, or a lot of them, are way down there in the goat field. And while I complained when we were moving in about all the gates on this property, I absolutely love that it kind of goes in a big circle. Like this property goes in a big circle. It goes all the way to those trees over there. And it goes like around and then they can go around and then come through. Like it's just amazing. In fact, they left already. There's nothing new here. Yeah, they, they're like, come on, let's go. There might be something cool. And now they're gone. We're all getting a round bale, so we're gonna start a round bales now. Yeah, so he uh, ordered a round bale and he's gonna pick it up tomorrow. So tomorrow he's gonna start with the round bales again for the season, but there's still, I feel, lots of grass to be had. The trainer was saying how Lady looks like she gained a lot of weight in the last two weeks even, and is because of the grass. Grass is crazy. If you're gonna do like thick, rich pastures, you basically have to use it as a feeding system. You have to put them out um, at whatever designated time you're gonna put them out, leave them out for a couple of hours, bring them back in, and then do that a couple times a day. We already decided that that's what we're gonna do for our minis and our small horses next year. We're not gonna leave them on pasture all day, and we might even not leave the big horses on pasture for the whole summer all, full time, because pasture is the thing that makes them gain the most weight the fastest. Come here, babies. They're afraid of the dogs. We are doing something so fun with this girl soon. I can't wait to show you guys. And this is where Posey hangs out. I feel bad for her. She really has no place in this farm. Other than in my heart. Why do you gotta lay down? 
get out of her butt. Yeah, she always has such a cute smile. Let's see your teeth. Let's see. They're so cute. Yeah. You guys, look at Gabby's car. Do you see it? She is not very happy with me. Do you see? And then down here too. You see it? I can see why she's not happy about that. That's a turkey thing. That's cool. So Sam got this thing. Out of yard sale. Wait, what about between here? So that it's like a barrier so that when Sophie and I are doing horses. Yeah, well, I was thinking of maybe putting a pole there and some wood here. Like it's like a, well, we could put that for now. <laughs> Hi, babies. A stormy boy lost a shoe. I mean, not a shoe. He lost a boot. So the trainer yesterday asked Sophie if she's been working on her homework. Aw, what's your homework? Look at all your, uh-oh. Um, Kiss you listen, too. Listen closely to this, walking on trails. Yeah, the, her homework was walking on trails and the trainer's like, how many times did you do it? Once. And how did it go? It went decent. But she still galloped, so her whole- Okay, well, because you said let go, see what happens. Yeah, so, and she wanted to gallop the whole time. So her whole lesson yesterday was in teaching a lady to slow down. And it's gonna probably be a while, like a, a lot of that. Okay, stand still. Lady definitely Ow. thinks about things and Look anticipates things. Oh no, you have a burr. Get it out, you it poked me. You can't get it out? Oh my gosh. It poked me, so. It's a huge one. Look at that sucker. Well, how are you finding that? You know, fun fact, our horses have never had burrs. At this property. At this property. Why, did they have burrs somewhere else? Yes, because they've... Do you guys remember when, when uh, Gracie got porcupine quills in her snout? She was the best for in that, In her though. muzzle? I don't know. She was so good. She was like, get these out of me, and she just stood there. If honey was there, it would have been honey. She would have been chasing it. Yeah. Did you get his I'm boot sure. on? I'm surprised we didn't get him sprayed with skunk. Because there is a skunk around here. There is a skunk, yeah. We smell it every time. <laughs> she just loves you. She's like, no more horses. So the trainer and I were talking yesterday about how, like, now. how Sophie got a mare who doesn't really act like a mare, but she already does that. Like, she, she mothers Sophie. Like, sh the trainer was saying, like, she mothers Sophie. And it won't come off because I washed my hands. Gabby's turning Smurf. Get a Tide Pod, <laughs> see if it dies you. Uh, did you crack open a, a Tide Pod? Oh, it's I went to take them out. So you forgot your pens in your pants. Did it go through the wash? No, it was the Tide Pod because it was none of my pens leaked, but there was like a big Tide Pod that burst on my pants. The same pants uh. that my pens were in. And I put my fingers in it. Laundry That's troubles. That's the worst thing, leaving pens in her pants. Is that her worst yeah. thing, really? Yes. And pencils. Yeah, that's how I stained them, because the ink exploded. You know they have this thing called pencil cases? <laughs> no, lady mothers you. The trainer. That's what I said. I said lady. You said honey. Lady, said so the trainer and I both said, it's not like she babies her or babysits her. She literally mothers you. Do you feel it? No. She's sassy. She's a roly-poly. I love the times when I go out in the barn and everybody's out there just hanging, doing their own thing, doing their own stuff. Sophie, you said you were gonna sweep this. Yes, Sophie, yes, sweep it. Sweep it, sister, sweep it. Oh, Gabby thinks I should lock the chickens up, and I do lock them up. The problem is is that they just fly over, especially the turkeys and the turkey. The turkeys are the ones that climb on the cars. I've never seen them climb on Gabby's car, but apparently they do. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way.